Well, we are live, pals, and welcome to another edition of the Countdown Watch Along series. My name is Tyler, and this time I have the utmost honor to be joined by one of my favorite people uh, from the Attitude Era, uh, the greatest wrestling impersonator of all time, the one and only Jason Sensation. Jason, thank you so much for tagging along and doing this with me, my friend. Thank you very much, Tyler, and thank you for that uh, kind introduction. And uh, also, it means a lot to me, too, being on a show with one of the old hometown Newmarket boys. Much That's right. So. That's right. Me and you are representing the good old Newmarket. Let's go Hurricane slash 87s, right? Yes, sir. So what we're doing right now, and this is cool for me because I'm a fan of yours, Jason, and I, I just love the work that you've done in this industry. And, and we're going to have you on our show to get into real detail about your career. But uh, the the epitome and, and, and what you're most known for is Owen Hart, um, your impersonations, your relationship with them. So it's really cool for me to sit back and we're watching Owen Hart and Jushin Liger fight right now amazing mat work that we're seeing right off the bat here the flips and, and and whatnot what's your earliest memory of owen jason oh my earliest memory good question um i i i remember um i was huge into wwf and watching uh i just love watching these guys look at the like owen uh, just the facial just catches, catches, you know. right there right the, yeah the, he just, yeah he, you, you just watch him use a lot, so much of this in his career. And it's just amazing to watch him do some of this stuff again. Anyway, uh, yeah, my I, first memory of Owen Hart is uh, when I, I was crazy watching every WWF program I could at the time. And I remember um, he actually uh, debuted on WWF. Oh, no, he didn't debut. It was Billy Red Lions mentioning matches coming up, and you would see the names coming up for the matches. And one of the names on the card said Owen Hart versus this guy. And Billy Red Lions said, Brett the, Hit- Brett the Hitman Hart's little brother, Owen Hart, makes his debut at other Maple Gardens or wherever it was. So that's the first memory I had was that name come up and said, wow, Brett. Brett has a little brother. Now, two weeks later, uh, Blue Blazer debuted, and I was the one who called everyone saying, this is Owen Hart. Yeah, right. His little brother. I swear, yeah. And I, I always, I kind of had been tipped off by this name came up, and now it disappeared. No one's saying it anymore. And I saw that he looked like Brett through his mask. So that's what I was calling it then, and I didn't know him. So those are my first memories of Owen. That's so cool, man. Now, did Billy Ray hit you with the famous, don't you dare miss it at the end of it? <laughs> yeah, don't you dare miss it. Yeah, I uh, love that. Great. I love Billy Ray. So we're, we're about, what, a minute and a half into this match. Let's just talk about the athleticism. You're seeing two of the best of all time in the ring here, right? You're, you're yeah. seeing the classic Owen Hart to the turnbuckle backflip spot. Uh, the bridges, the the flips, like what excitement mm-hmm. to get off this match, right? Did, did you happen to see any a lot of Owen's Jap- Japan stuff? Wow, a big suplex to the outside there, like this is crazy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is unprecedented way before its time. I like mean, I've I don't never, know. I've um, never watched this match before. Like Liger is kicking ass right now, Tyler. <laughs> It seems like he's in control, but don't underestimate Owen, right, McMahon? That's right. Owen Hart. I mean, when he's he's down, but when he's up, he's up. I feel like I should chime in with a what a maneuver. <laughs> exactly. One, two. He- uh, and Juice and Lager just pulls on a, a leg hold here, and uh, Owen's in trouble. <laughs> but you know what I love about Owen here is. Take a look at the facials he's doing, uh, the selling. Like Owen Hart is one of the best that's ever stepped into the ring. Is that fair to say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, one of the greatest of all time. You know, and, and I wish I was seeing. No, go ahead, Jason. Go ahead. Pardon me. 
No, no, you go, you oh, go. Go ahead, Tyler. Sorry. I'm just saying, no, like, you go. I'll remember submission work, and and you know, let's tip our cap to Jushin Thunder Liger, who just recently wrapped up his in-ring yeah. career. Like, that's one of the greatest pioneers in the industry as well, right? Yeah, respect, utmost respect to Jushin Liger. I've been a fan of his since watching his matches with Pillman growing up um, on WCW for the first time when I saw him first. And, yeah, what a, what a talent! What an amazing athlete! You know the the span of his career just volumes athlete he is and utmost respect to him and I look forward I'm so to your WWE inducting him in the Hall of Fame I look forward to seeing that it's nice to see him getting uh, recognition on this end it's pretty nice absolutely and you know, I was really happy to see him get that moment to have that WWE match a couple of years ago against Tyler Breeze as well right. Oh wow! I, I did. I didn't know that. I didn't see. It. Yeah, he he got an NXT uh, at the first takeover in Brooklyn. There, he he got the chance to work a singles match against Tyler Breeze, and it, it was really cool to see. And and he deserves it, man. Like he he's just one of the oh, best I, in the ring. Oh, I test that to Hunter. Then just yeah, that's pretty awesome. To that. So. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions because obviously, you know, you, you, you had a, a fun run in the company. What were some of these guys like? You mentioned the name like Hunter. Like, did you have, you, obviously you did DX and, and, and the nation. What was it like working with a guy like Hunter who at that time was, was one of the up and coming top stars in the company? How fun was that for you, man? It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, like you say the word fun resonates with, me and my friends watching DX doing clutch chop is one week and the next week me calling them to say I'm going to be on with you. And it was a pretty cool feeling and they were the coolest guys in town at the time, you know. But at the same time, you, you ask Hunter, Hunter was very instrumental in helping me get in. And he was very connected and very, I mean, Vince wasn't the keenest on impressions being like, signed to a contract i mean you know he'll take in the clown and you know he'll take in the, the one-offs but i mean hunter and china were so instrumental in putting me over at first from meeting at the shopping network and they were so in with vince at the time and it was i don't know i, I you know it's it's because of them that i got in with dx even in my introduction and that put me over way over the top for some kid who was flipping hamburgers the week before. So oh, that's... Yeah, I owe him a lot. I'm grateful. To him. And, you know, obviously as we're watching an Owen match, I'm, I'm going to ask you in a couple minutes, just about uh, the interaction with you and Owen during that time period. But you mentioned a, a very polarizing name and uh, what was it like being around Vince McMahon and, you know, 1998 when, when you were in there, did you, did you have a lot of interaction with Vince? Did you sit down and talk to him? Do you have any Vince memories at all? He is he as intimidating as everyone um, says that he is? You know, um, I, there was not a lot of a sit down with him, but um, Carl DeMarco gave me an introduction with him that you know I'll always be grateful for when he was in Toronto, and that was my meeting with Vince and. Vince was receptive to me. I ran out to him like a fan and said, please don't forget me after we had met. And he said, no, I'll find that difficult. And he drove off in his limo and I thought, what, what does that mean? And in my mind, I couldn't, because it was a negative word, for some reason, my mind couldn't understand what he said because I was so taken. And then I, I kept thinking, oh no, he, he said difficult. That means it, it's, it's going to be difficult to remember me. Oh, no. And I mean, I, it took me some days to figure out in my own mind, wait a second. I said, don't forget me. And he said that would be difficult. Wait. He, <laughs> it would, okay. That means he'll remember me. Okay. So, I mean, it, he, like he was nice in that level. And I remember, um, I don't know, the, the next real closest moment I had with him next to him introducing me at WrestleMania 14 was me being backstage and my uh, my brother john was with me and i'm like hey there's vince let's go try to talk to him and he was so nice and receptive and 
met my brother and it was almost like my brother maybe didn't know that I was meeting him too more and more for the first time and it was like it, it was yeah really nice of him I I think as a person personally he was very nice to me and you know as a businessman you know I you know have maybe held him accountable for some of what of his underlings did to me but I do respect him and no, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And as we take a look on the screen here, you're seeing a beautiful <laughs> what surfboard. What is that move called? Surfboard, that's, that's, that's right. Surfboard, and Juice and Liger. Put that back that. Again. Look at Owen, that, that old cell oh, with his man. face open like that. No one could sell like that. reminds me recently. Oh, my gosh. Look, uh, at what is this? The gut wrench stretch. I forget what this is called now. Yeah, you know, I've seen Conan do this a couple times in oh, WC. But look at the transition. So how smooth is Liger? Holy shit, eh? Awesome. Yep, he just turned it. Yeah, he, and it, he's got just another move right out of nowhere. That's good. So listen, I, yep. I you know we I can't have you on on the show, and we can't watch an Owen Hart match without talking about Owen. He's the man of the hour. He, he's one of my uh, my favorites of all time, and I, I'm sure I can speak on your behalf with that as well. How fun was it to do some stuff with Owen Hart on TV? Uh, I know that uh, I've listened to some interviews that you've done with Jerry Lawler, and, and I know that you credit Jerry Lawler with a lot of influence uh, with some of the stuff that you guys did. But, you know, just tell tell the listeners what it was like to just be around Owen in general. Uh, as we see Liger going to the top here, uh, uh, Owen Hart is a guy that you've never heard a bad word spoken about. Just Just let everyone know kind of what it was like to be around Owen at that time, Jason. Yeah, Tyler, it was beyond a, a dream come true because, you know, seeing him on TV growing up, I mean, I could speak maybe for you, but I can speak for so many people I know that you just loved him. There was something so magnetic and magical about him, even on air, that he could be the meanest bad guy and have the greatest sell and expression as a, as a heel there was something you loved about him and there was a nonsense in his eyes that you could see you know somehow through what he was doing you could see his sense of humor even as a fan and then meeting him was more of like uh it was beyond um beyond uh, <laughs> a dream come true because he was he was that times a thousand he was the funniest person you ever met and that little spark of the expression that you could see through as a fan was true and he actually was doing it um like times like like times a hundred on his own to everyone he was always making everyone laugh and entertaining everyone with that you know um childlike sense of humor in his eyes that wow <laughs> what a great team out there and did did you ever yeah. have the privilege of, of being around or or seeing an a legendary Owen Hart rib at all? Uh, oh yeah, at one time I saw Steve Blackman walk away from his food to the washroom, and Owen <laughs> walked in and he sat with me for a second, just for a second, and he said, "Have you seen Steve Blackman?" I said, "He's sitting over there," and he looked, and I, you should have saw his eyes light up. He's like, "Is that his food?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he ran and he grabbed his food like within like you've never seen someone move so fast <laughs> off into this corner and hid it in this weird off the office desk drawer that was way off in this weird odd corner i don't know how he even saw it ran back and sit with me and almost like put his hand over his head and his head down like nothing's happening and i mean as a fan like you just you can't believe what you're seeing and it was just it's so entertaining it was gut splitting laughter like you i couldn't stop laughing way way deep down gut splitting laugh like this man could bring out the deepest laughs he was oh. just truly so funny but yeah That's i watched blackman come back to the <laughs> room and sit down and 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 be like he lost it he screamed <laughs> has anyone seen my food and he looked around and he like he just ha was so disappointed and he's like what like what the fuck <laughs> and, he, and he went and he was so angry and he went off to get his uh, dinner and I was I like this is 
you know, completed my laughter. I couldn't stop laughing. I, I was just like, I couldn't breathe. And I watched Owen now get up, run back without anyone seeing him still to that desk, grab that food, bring it back to that same seat and take off. He left. He didn't say bye to me or nothing. It was just like he came and he went and he'd done his damage. And Blackman even came back to the desk and he sat, I mean, to his seat with his new food, saw his old food and looked up and went, what the fuck? Owen. <laughs> he even said it. And I was sitting there yeah, laughing, eating alone. But yeah, just this guy was remarkable. He was such a funny guy. I, I always love the story that Brett told uh, as his match, I think, is coming to a close here. I love the story that Brett's told at his Hall of Fame induction speech about uh, at WrestleMania when he called pretending to be Reggie Park. Oh, yeah, to his dad. <laughs> uh, if you want to try me, Reggie, why didn't you step up years ago? Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, Brett does it the best. Oh, Jushin beat Owen then. Nuts. That was a big DDT off the top. Uh, Jason, I don't know if I can do this not to you. I, I'd love to put you on the spot as we're coming to a close to the match being over. What a great, what a great match between two legends in the in the industry. Is there any way that you can give us a legendary um, uh, Owen Hart uh, impersonation before we wrap up here? Uh, maybe, maybe something like with the the fresh cup of coffee line or something like that. You know, I try to make myself some coffee, but I'm about to fall asleep. Anyway, I just watched that match. I can't believe Juice and Liger cheated there. If you saw, he kind of pulled my tights, and he hooked me onto the rope there just as he pulled that DDT, but that's okay. Hey, Juice and Liger, I'm happy you're getting in the Hall of Fame because I don't even want to be in that Hall of Fame, but I'm proud of you that you're getting in there. Much respect to Jushin Thunder Liger, you're a great wrestler, but I think that match shows that I'm a better wrestler, especially the way I put you over. Even though you screwed up the ending and you cheated, I still put you over. Anyway, I could have got up and gave you an insiguri, but I let you win there. But anyway, much respect to Jushin Liger, and uh, you're pretty good, but you're not the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, and Brett knows that's true. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Jason, I cannot thank you enough for stopping by and, and watching it with us. And uh, I can't wait to have you on the show to do a, a, a full a full length interview because you had such a great career on behalf of myself and, and all the wrestling fans out there. We want to thank you for the entertainment that you've given us, man. Uh, before we let you go, is there anything that you want to plug out there? Anything you got going on that you want anyone to hear about? Thank you very much for those kind words, Tyler. It means a lot to me, and it's much appreciated. Yeah, it resonates with my heart, and I'm grateful. Thanks, man. Kind words. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to say that um, there was earlier in uh, the, 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 the match there that we were speaking that I was going to say something, and I, I remembered. It was that I recently heard Brett talking about everyone knows where the, the knee slap started, and it was that Owen created it. And I'm like, wow, I actually don't know. And I had forgotten, but I tried and I searched and I'm like a wrestling encyclopedia and he's absolutely right. Owen Hart with that insiguri is the one who, who was doing that knee slap, but before anyone. And I mean, you know, Randy Orton complains to what it's become now, but I mean, Owen was doing it when it wasn't noticed and wow. uh, he, he did it to a point that it wasn't noticed. And no kidding. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, did, you got to uh, give Owen that freaking credit, man. He he did the knee slap before it was ever noticed, you know. And uh, the the young buck should be doing a pretty sizable donation to the Owen Hart Fund for that. Then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you think about that? And, well, and I, when I'm activated, you can uh, find me on at Jason Sensation X, and I'm working on a podcast right now. But uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Well, Jason, you have an open invitation uh, from one new market boy to another. Anytime that you feel like watching some wrestling, anytime you want to come on and talk some wrestling, count it out with Mike and Tyler. It's happy to have you, man. Uh, we love you. We we love everything you've done in the business. And I, And like I said, I can't thank you enough for doing this today, man. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Okay, my love to you and Mike, too. And thanks very much. And same goes to you. Ditto. All if right, I can so. do the same for you at all, let me know.
I'm going to wrap up the show here. Jason, you stay on the line with me after. I, I just want to uh, talk to you for one more minute here. Uh, on behalf uh, of uh, Sensation. When you hang up, I hang up. And that's the bottom line. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, on behalf of Stone Cold Jason Sensation, I am Tyler, and we have been counted out. Cheers. Okay, no, cheers. Blessings. <laughs>